Hey, what's up, Halo fans? Welcome back to another Halo video. Now, today's video, we have some exciting news today. Uh, 343 have revealed brand new info for Halo Infinite, and I'm talking about actual screenshots. Uh, this time it isn't toy leaks or you know mega blocks or, or, or anything like that. Uh, this is official info. So 343 just released the post about the game. Uh, there, there is a lot to read, but I'm not going to read uh, through everything. Uh, I will uh, leave the link uh, in the description for you guys to read. Uh, I will try to read most of the main things you guys want to hear. And then after we finish reading, we can then uh, take a look at the screenshots at the end. So let's start off what Joseph Staten said, and I quote, Hey everyone, I'm Joseph Staten. If you've been a long time part of the Halo community, you may already know me. If you're new to the, new to the Halo community, hello, it's great to meet you. As part of the Bungie's uh, team who made Halo C, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST and Halo Reach, I came up on the design of these projects wearing many different hats over the years including uh, you know writer cinematic director creative director even a, a even a voice for the grunts after you know reach shipped uh i became a hater fan ch cheering on 343 from the sidelines but i spent the last four months immersing myself back into the hater universe and it's my honor as a creative director to help to help our team ship hater infinite uh in 2021 yep that's when the game is coming out and from now, from now until then, every one of us at 343 and our great partner teams will be building, testing and polishing an experience we hope all of you love. Uh, I joined 343 right as the team was wrestling with the feedback from July campaign demo. So yeah, he also mentioned that the game will be coming out uh, at the fall of 2021, which I'm, which I'm guessing around probably around September, October, uh, maybe November, I hope it's November. Uh, I hope they release it around November 15th in 2021. That's basically, you know, 20 years anniversary of Halo CE. That will, that will be awesome. Yeah, he joined uh, 343 when the community were giving feedback about the campaign demo that was shown at E3 in July. So that was like five months ago. Uh, it's good to see Joseph staying back on the project project again. Uh, can't wait to what he has uh, in store for us. Uh, his work is, is very incredible and this is what really gets me pumped up uh, when he says, and I quote, I could feel the classic Halo, 30 seconds of fun, beating at the heart of Infinite's world, but I had never felt more powerful, more mobile, more in command of a rich set of tactical choices. This was the Halo we imagined back in 2000, finally come to life, after 20 years of technical and creative innovation. And boy, reading that part makes me so hyped. And this is coming from Joseph, dude. Like, him saying that, wow. It's, it's crazy. So moving on, uh, a development uh, uh, for the graphics team said, and I quote, Back in July, our teams pulled uh, together a size of representative uh, gameplay that introduced fans to the expansive nature of this new, of this new ring world. And we got the first look at Master Chief using the grapple shot and various weaponry to take on the Banished. Uh, despite excitement, uh, excitement around the gameplay, we knew we had plenty of work left to do on the art and the graphics side. And yeah, a lot of people were so unhappy on how the graphics and the visual looked. Everything looked downgraded, you know, when you know, you know, when we what we saw at E3, uh, it looked nothing like next gen in, in most of the areas of the game uh, because it looked very like cartoony. Uh, they also mentioned about Craig. Uh, someone asked, you know, if we if we will have any, you know, changes in the final. And this is what 343 said. And again, I quote: Firstly, I can confirm that the facial animation on NPCs was not fully implemented in that build, which resulted in Craig, so you know, incredibly dead, you know, deadpan, you know, lifeless, you know, look. Uh, so, so they basically mean he he has drastic changes. You know, he will look way better, way better than he did. You know. Uh, at E3 um, and T 3 give us a, a great nameplate, that would be awesome. Give him, and please, when you do give him, you know, changes, do you give him fur on his on his face, you know, M make him hairy, pretty please. Uh, give us a crane emblem, you know, that would be cool, that would be awesome. And they mentioned somewhere in the blog post that there will be a flight test for Halo Infinite. My prediction is, uh, is they will probably, you know, reveal the flighting at E3 next year when they show off for Halo Infinite's gameplay. Uh, they might, you know, give a a date, you know, when the flighting will start for Infinite. Uh, they also mentioned something about playable elites, um, 
couldn't really find on the blog post now. Um, but they teased, you know, Playboy Elites, uh, so that's really exciting, exciting to hear. I wonder if they, I wonder if we would probably play as Brutes. Uh, that'd be awesome. Okay, now let's move on to the main exciting stuff of the new screenshots for Halo Infinite. This is what we're here for. And our first image is the rocket launcher, and wow, it looks so damn good. You can tell the graphics are looks you know incredible uh, you can see you know the spot on the right you know looking at his you know rocket launcher uh, I really want to see how this looks like in, in the gameplay perspective uh, it does look awesome in this image next image we have here is the sniper rifle now I can't tell if this is the same art style from Halo Reach or Halo 4 5 um, it could be a mix of both I guess uh, again it looks really good in this image uh, but I still want to see how, you know what how it looks like in you know, drawing gameplay. I hope it sounds good. Next image we we have here is the new Sparta armor called Scorpion Punch Armor, and it looks super awesome. You know, the graphics, you know, the details on this armor looks, you know, beautiful. They really nailed the art style for this. It's got, you know, that mix between, you know, with Halo 3 and Reach. Uh, looking at that helmet, it looks like it's mixed between Halo 3 DST and uh, the uh, Halo 3 Scout helmet. Uh, what do you guys think of this uh, armor, man? Like, let me know down in the comments below. Lo we'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you look carefully at the bottom right on the Spartan's leg, uh, that looks like a binoculars. And someone mentioned that to me. Uh, you know that that you know it could be a night vision binoculars. I mean, I believe Halo Infinite will have a you know a time cycle where it's going to get you know very dark, and you probably need a binoculars vision or something. Almost like you had a night vision from uh, Halo CE where you had the uh, sniper rifle you know set as your night vision so that could be it I don't know let me know down in the comments below what you guys think it is now let's look at the uh, the weapon that the Spartan is holding the assault rifle it looks so awesome they actually brought back the yellow stripes from Halo Reach it, it looks so dope really happy they went for that um, it's much better you know than what we saw at E3 um, uh, you know the E3 build looked like freaking clay. Like there was no, it was just too plain, no details you know, whatsoever. Like it, it was really bad. But here it looks you know mm, fabulous, fantastic. Here's the uh, another uh, uh, image of the Spartan, and this armor is called Watchdog. Again, the uh, art style is so damn good. Uh, the assault rifle, you know, has some you know new type of skin. Uh, it looks so dope. Uh, again, thief through nailed the art style this time around. Uh, like this reminds me of. You know what? What three for three has shown like all this reminds me of like Bungie's work, like the good old Bungie. You know when they were making Halo, uh, it looks incredible. I'm so happy. You know that I'm saying that. You know it looks like Bungie's. You know uh, here's another image here of another spawn called Splintered Desert, and boy, he looks incredible. The armor looks like a combination of a Spartan and a Marine, uh, and yeah, a bit of an ODST. Uh, and the visor looks, you know, really dope too. You know the green visor. I think it's. I think this armor is like, is more for stealth. It's like a stealthy armor, basically, basically a stealthy Spartan. And if you look at his right leg, uh, he has bullets, and then there's two smoke grenades. By the looks of it, uh, that could, and these smoke grenades could possibly you know put you to sleep or make you go blind. I don't know what it does exactly. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think it is. Um, it, but yeah, it, it just looks so damn good, man. Now, if you look at the left, the Spartan seems to be holding the SMG. And it looks like the SMG from Halo 2 Anniversary, which looks really dope. I was not a big fan of the Halo 5 SMG. Doesn't look nothing like the OG SMG. It looks a bit too, you know, generic, you know, to me. Uh, I'm happy they went for this look. It looks so good. Uh, I want to see how it looks like in game, though. Like in gameplay, you know. I want to see the view, you know, on how the SMG looks in game. Another image here we have, and man, doesn't this armor look so dope? And I believe this is from Halo Reach. It's basically George's armor. Here it looks slim, while in Halo Reach, you know, it looked more bulky. Um, one of his shoulders, you know, looks slimmer than the other. Uh, but damn, 343 did a great job making this armor. Well done to the people at 343, you know, get, you know, getting the Spartan armors right. Moving on to a different image, here's a work in progress of a new multiplayer map, and it looks really good. The visuals and the graphics are so damn detailed. Um, this isn't concept art, guys, this is actual in-game. Uh, this map, I think it seems to be set in a ship or, or some type of warehouse. Um, uh, this map doesn't really have a, a name currently, they never said. But damn, the details on this map look so good. Uh, here on the top right, you can see a Spartan with his battle rifle. If you look carefully at the left, you can see a grapple hook. 
I'm not sure if you guys actually noticed that. Uh, and if you guys look at the bottom here, it seems to be a, a equipment or a ability. Seems like a a vision ability where you can see see through walls, like Promethean vision. Uh, not sure what what that is exactly. I uh, hope it's not like seeing plays you know through walls. Uh, but oh well, at least it will be a pickable ability. Uh, I'll be happy with that. So here's a, a different angle shot of the new map. Uh, here you have two Spartans, uh, and I would hate to confirm this for most people, but if you look at the Spartan on the right, look how he's animating. Do you know what that means? Sprint is confirmed for multiplayer as well. <laughs> so yeah, Sprint is you know is a multiplayer, um, but you know it's something you know that I can live with. Uh, I mean, Sprint has been a thing since Halo Reach, so why should we be surprised, right? <laughs> so the last image here we're gonna see. It's a concept art for the campaign, and wow, it looks so damn good. You can see the ring in the background, the stone you know, popping out. Uh, you can see the water on the right at the bottom, and the pillars. You know, I wonder how the pillars will look like in game. Uh, before they looked very damn great. You know, it was very bad. You know, very Minecraft looking. Uh, but if we look at the, you know, at the left here, zooming in, that looks like a gondolor from Halo 2's Regret Mission, doesn't it? And I really hope it is. I really want to have a mission me fighting on the gondola in the ocean, just like Halo 2. I mean, Halo 4 had the gondola, but it was n it was never good as you know. It was it was it wasn't fun as you know compared to Halo 2's re regret mission. Uh, I, you know, I really hope we get a mission like this. Uh, you know, from Halo 2. Uh, so if we look at if we look here at this fallen structure, I don't know what this is that's floating, uh, but it looks really really cool. What do you guys think it is? You know, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, guys, I, I think that's it for today's video. We finally got news for Halo Infinite after waiting for a you know long time, and um, we will definitely see more info early next year. Hoping we see gameplay footages. You know, like I want to see PvP footages. You know, uh, multiplayer. Uh, so, are you guys really happy on what you saw? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, we just we just got to see gameplay. You know, uh, then we know how Halo Infinite truly plays like. Uh, that's the most important thing. Um, so far, we saw the graphics, you know, the visuals, uh, the art style of the Spartans, and you know, the weapons and how they look, uh, and they look fantastic so far. Uh, keep in mind, all of this is still in work in progress, so it could look even better at launch. Uh, I do apologize if I missed a lot from the blog. Uh, there, there was a lot to read in that blog post, so I just picked the main parts. I didn't really feel like reading them all. I uh, just want to keep it, you know. Uh, plain and simple um, anyway if you guys are new to the channel please do hit that like button subscribe to the channel follow us on twitch we literally stream halo on there you know every day and i'll see you spartans in the next video bye